Good evening, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a little treat. These uh, Sabbath Heat battery heated gloves that were recommended by Project Farm. So I thought I'd uh, give these a try. I, I, they just arrived yesterday. I've had uh, about 24 hours to kind of play with them. And I wanted to share some thoughts with you. So they come in this box, uh, pretty plain and simple, little instruction manual, which, you know, self-explanatory. I think the only thing in, in this instruction manual that's kind of really useful is this uh, color chart that tells you what the colors mean and what the temperature ranges are. Uh, you're very likely to just leave it on red. Red doesn't get very hot, honestly, um, on the hand. Now, you know, uh, objectively, Project Farm did uh, put out some good numbers, but when you wear it, it, it doesn't get all that hot, at least not very quickly. Um, it's very comfortable heat. Uh, I actually like the amount of heat it puts out on red. I don't think I would ever use purple, green, or white. I mean, they just kind of don't really seem necessary. It is not that cold out here um, nowadays. Uh, I'm in Southern California. We've actually had one of the coldest winters um, I've ever had down here, but the, the evenings are getting in the high 30s. Um, and uh, I don't technically need these, but uh, they're nice to they're super nice to have. I, I tell you, if you're going outside to work in the evening, and uh, and you have heated gloves on, your experience is <laughs> wildly different. Anyway, they come with this really nice mesh bag for carrying. Although I don't feel like this is necessary either, um, because uh, I typically don't store my gloves in a bag. They, I would just kind of. Uh, Put them in a drawer, like just like that. And when I remove them, they don't need to be in a bag anymore. Uh, okay, so let's go through it. Um, this is the button. You hold it down for one and a half seconds to turn it on and then tap it to uh, change mood. So let's do that one and a half seconds right there. So that's the red and then purple, green, and white. I really like the LED actually, it's super cool. Um, and it gives off actually quite a bit of light. Uh, so if you're, um, if you don't like that, you may want to think about it. Um, and then, so then the glove itself, uh, it's actually quite nicely made. It is very compact, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, it has two uh, two adjustments. One is kind of the wrist uh, tightness adjustment here, and then at the top of the kind of the gauntlet, you've got this drawstring, uh, which. My assumption is, and this is how I use it, is I grab this with my teeth. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that, but I grab this with my teeth and I press that and I can I can kind of pull away. You don't want to tighten it too much because you know you don't want to cut off circulation. This is just to kind of keep um, like the splash guard essentially so uh, somewhat tight. Uh, and the reason I say with my teeth is because, you know, let's put them on. got this on see you can't reach back here right I guess you could you could go like that hmm. actually you know what you can go like that or you could just pull on it maybe you don't need your teeth I was doing it with my teeth that was dumb so don't don't use your teeth you can just pull on it um, and let's put the other one on Oh, that's actually quite nice. I didn't realize you could just pull on it. I thought you'd have to hold that in place, but you can just pull on it and it will tighten. And here's the other one. Now I've, now I've almost pulled it too high. So now I've got a lot, a lot of play and I think you can adjust that. Um, you could probably alter it yourself by taking that apart somehow. And then, um, then it comes to turning it on. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And then turn this on. All right, I can immediately feel it warm up, okay? So it's immediately warm. And when I say they're compact, I mean, compared to other gloves that I've, I've seen of the same kind, these are relatively compact. Now that means I can do a lot of things with them. Um, so let's just see here, I'm gonna grab my knife.
you know, not the most convenient thing, but I can grab, I can grab the blade still and pull it out. Let's try this, this little utility knife. Yeah, I mean, you know, you've, you've got most of the utility of your fingers already, uh, I'm still. Uh, here's, here's a test I thought of doing. Um, so what if I were to try to get an icebreaker out of here? You know, you can do it. It's possible. All right, so, um, yeah, so that that's something that's important to me because... If I'm wearing gloves, I don't want it to be like, I have to keep taking the gloves off to do the stupidest mundane, mundane little things. Of course, there are certain things you won't be able to do. Uh, you're not gonna be able to like pick up really thin things off of, off of the table, like uh, like paper, for example. Let's, let's just put this envelope here for a second. Um, I mean, let's say it's like that. It's actually not too bad. I, I was trying to get something out of my mailbox yesterday with it and it was kind of difficult, but as you can see, you know, yeah, you may have to bend the paper a bit, but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, okay, so uh, overall, uh, it's heating up quite good. Uh, my, my hands are pretty warm. They're not like to the point where they're hot, which is nice. That's where I like to keep it. Now, a lot of the reviews, this actually has, by the way, an F, a letter F for fail, on fake spot on Amazon. So that worries me because it kind of seems like all the reviews might be fake. It's got four and a half stars, uh, 339 ratings. And, and I've had pretty good experience with fake spot. It, it seems to think that all the reviews are fake. Uh, and, and, but, and, and some of the reviews do say that uh, it doesn't get hot. Some of the reviews that are supposedly legit say that it doesn't get hot at all. I disagree. I mean, it gets really nice and warm and cozy in there. Um, now, the the difference may be that I am not uh, out there in, you know, uh, below zero weather right now. I'm not, I'm not, you know, uh, playing in snow or ice. Um, I spent uh, a good amount of time with it outside in about 38 degrees um, uh, yesterday. Uh, kind of uh, playing around um, and, and, you know, taking out the trash, doing that sort of things, just doing outside chores. And it kept my hands really nice and warm. But I do want to talk about one thing. This material here, this kind of felt like material. This is kind of not great because if you're doing work, it will get pretty dirty and it collects particles and dust and stuff like that really easily. I spent a lot of time trying to clean this actually. That all happened because I picked up a piece of plywood. Actually, it was a particle board. It might've been particle board, yeah. I just picked up a piece of particle board like this, like grabbed the board from the side to carry it. And then I couldn't get the stuff out of my, my gloves, which really sucks. Like look how clean this one is. And then this one, I can't even get it clean. No matter what I do, this stuff wasn't coming off. I mean, now it is kind of, you see how much work you have to do just to kind of get some of these particles off of there. And that's after a lot of cleaning that it looks like this, okay? Um, so that's something you might want to consider. Uh, the other thing that I was going to show you, which um, you may not know about, let's go ahead and turn this off. Um, so I'm just going to turn it, take it off. See how easy it is to take off. Real nice. Uh, oh, by the way, size-wise, it, 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 it's true to size. And here's why I say that. I always wear, my hands are so dry. Uh, I always wear, wear large size gloves and I purchased a large and it fits absolutely perfectly. Uh, I wouldn't change the size of this. In fact, I would say it's a little snug and gloves do have a way of opening up over time. So I, I, I like that. Here's the charger. Um, it's a non-standard uh, charger. And let's see if I can, if my eyes can uh, read. Does that say 2.1? There we go. It's a two amp, 16.8 watt charger 
Okay, so I'll take that, for, I guess at 8.4 volts. Um, yeah, so that's the charger. And here's here are the leads, okay? So it charges both batteries and both gloves at the same time. And speaking of those batteries, let's take a look at them. I'm not gonna do both because you don't need to see both. So when you turn the glove like that, there's a, there's a nice little hidden zipper. Very comfortable, by the way. You don't ever feel the battery or the zipper as you're wearing it, so that's nice. And then the battery is in here. When you first receive the glove, the battery is in there, but it's unplugged. So you just have to plug it in. Uh, and this is how you unplug it. And then you use the charger here to plug it in like so. And the charger does have an indicator light on it. Wait a minute. That's super cool. Check that out. So it's not even plugged into the wall and it tells you the status of the battery. I <laughs> did not know that. That is really neat. Look at that. And then it fades away. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, the fact that it can do that. I, I don't know if it's accurate that way or not, but uh, certainly a, a neat thing that I don't think I've ever seen on any other product. Um, so um, what are my, what's my verdict? Because I, I love the Project Farm channel, but sometimes, honestly, I mean, I've bought just about everything that he's recommended that I actually wanted or needed, okay? I don't, there are certain things he reviews that I have no use for. Um, this is, I would say, um, pretty good, okay? I wouldn't say this is a must-have, but it's pretty good. I mean, I'm keeping it. Oh, and get this. It actually says currently unavailable on Amazon all of a sudden. Uh, but uh, I'll leave a link to where I got it from uh, on Amazon. Um, I got this for 39 bucks. I actually got it cheaper than he said that he'd gotten it. And then, of course, the same project farm effect you're always going to get where the project product runs out immediately after it's uh, posted to his channel. So uh, it's currently out. Um, I've got one. I'm happy with it. I'm keeping it. Uh, if it happens to fail on me at some point or something different happens that I don't like, I will uh, post an update to this video. Uh, as of right now, the only thing I don't like about it is I don't like the palm material being made out of this felt type stuff because it collects debris and dust a little too easily. And I prefer if my, if my glove didn't have to get cleaned every single time I use it for something. Uh, so that, that may be um, not great. But my, my thought here is I'll just have a, uh, I'll just use my lint roller uh, or something similar, like a piece of tape to, to, to clean it. Um, oh, one thing I didn't show you guys is, is how good the um, touch sensitivity is for uh, things like phone screens and whatnot. Uh, so let's see, I am going to show you here on my iPad. Um, Or not. Huh. Yeah, my iPad's dead. <laughs> anyway, so it's pretty good. It's not great. Okay? It's pretty good. It's not great. And here's why I say that. Um, the tip doesn't have the touch-sensitive material. It's You have to use the front part of your finger. Okay? So like that. Now, it turns out you, when you're using your phone with a glove like this, you're you're kind of going at it like this. You're not going to go like this, right? So it works. I wouldn't recommend it for long use, long use terms. Um, uh, but, you know, um, it works okay. Um, let me see if this phone has any juice. Nope. <laughs> what a fail. Um, but, yeah. You get the idea. Uh, the, 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 the touch sensitive material is only on the front face of the finger. My preference would have been if it was over the top of the finger as well. And that may not be important to you, but believe me, it's important to a whole hell of a lot of people. Uh, I, I have tons of motorcycle gloves and, and 
I don't even buy a glove that doesn't have a touch sensitive surface on it anymore. Uh, that is, it, it also has it on the left hand, obviously, for those of you who are left handed. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's, that's my review of this thing. Uh, I think it's a good buy at, at 40 bucks, but I, I don't know if I would pay a lot more for it, maybe up to 60, but that would be it. That would be kind of the end of the line for me with this thing. Um, uh, it does get warm. It doesn't get hot. Okay. So if you're expecting hot, don't buy this. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you have different kind that you like, uh, that you want other people to try that project farm maybe didn't try, uh, leave it in the, leave it in the comments. I'll, uh, see you guys on the next one.